Secret Power is about the culture within technology organizations, state technology organizations, and how sovereignty and geopolitics is kind of imaged today. To employ the visual as a way of understanding cultural and geopolitical information, that is the kind of core of this project, I think. Secret Power started for me with the release of the NSA documents that Edward Snowden did in mid-2013. From a New Zealand perspective, the fact that it came out that we were very close partners to the US and the UK and the other people as part of the Five Eyes kind of alliance was also, I think, for me as a New Zealander, a culturally significant thing. The fact that we were colluding to such a degree was a surprise to me. The vinyl wrap that's done to the room is taken from imagery of the Marchana Library, which was one of the pavilions we used for the New Zealand Tennis Pavilion in 2015. And it's close-up images of these incredible paintings that are in the uh, wall, walls and the ceiling of, of the library, which depict kind of the value of knowledge and, uh, and, and the kind of power of knowledge. Um, and it has an amazing resonance with this, the imagery within the sculptural work. So, I mean, installing it here and seeing it here in Te Papa is amazing because I'm a big fan of the way that the museum frames material, makes material accessible, gives a lot of people a lot to look at, but also a lot to think about. And that's exactly the aims that I was trying to have when I designed this work, to, you know, to make this content appreciable and intelligible to people who, you know, maybe would, wouldn't otherwise be so interested. So to see it here, having a dialogue with the language of display within the wider museum, and also to see it uh, valued alongside, you know, obviously very, very important artifacts in our history, um, is something quite moving for me.